Good morning, everyone. My boyfriend is coming today. I'm really excited. Um, but other than that, right now I am doing some work and then I think I'm gonna go rent a bike and bike around um, La Jolla. See how far I can bike. I honestly just wanna bike for many miles today. Um, I'm really not that like athletic. So I don't really know how far I can go, but we'll see. Check out this view. Hotel doesn't have a microwave, and I actually hate cold pizza. I know a lot of people are like really into cold pizza. I think it's just weird. I hate like cold food unless it's like intentionally supposed to be cold, like gazpacho or something. But other than that, I like my food like super hot or super cold, not warm. I was just getting ready to um, leave. Oh shit, I almost tripped over a chair. I was getting ready to leave the hotel to go on my walk and now it's raining. Hmm, hmm. Okay, now I need to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, so this guy was saying that this is like the first time it has rained in like months or something in San Diego. So, I don't know. I guess it's raining everywhere. Global warming, right? I'm currently taking a walk. It's a little bit windy. I just went to the public beach access. This neighborhood is really nice. I like didn't really do that much research on La Jolla. Um, I kind of just looked at like Google Maps and I just like assumed it was like a little bit nicer than downtown, but it's like way nicer. Um, this is so cute. La Jolla is so much nicer. When I first got to San Diego and just stayed in downtown, I did not like it. Like it was killing my vibe. I was ready to fly home, but this neighborhood is so cute. The houses are really nice too. Really, really pretty mansion. I found this random trail. Um, it's like some historic trail or something. It's starting to rain. I hope it only drizzles. So I found out I am walking in a path um, towards La Jolla Cove. I think people kayak into those caves. Um, I asked Keith if he wanted to do it, but it's really cold. So I feel like if we touch the water, we're gonna get like hypothermia or something. But I'm gonna um, go on this trail. Looks like a quick and simple trail, just going up there. It smells extremely fishy the past like 10 minutes I've been walking around the cove. I think that means that there's a lot of sharks around. Um, just super fishy. Ooh, like I feel like I'm in a fish market. There's an insane amount of birds been flying around in circles over here. There's a bunch right below here as well that's sticking out. And I think these are fish. There's like a bunch of these spots. I wonder what it is. There's some spots over here. Maybe I'm seeing things. I don't know if the camera picks it up. There's so many birds. It's insane. Villa restaurant. It is raining, so I needed to find a place to sit. I got some chowder. This is a chowder I got. This is you.
Thick. I wish it was a little bit thinner. But other than that, the flavor is good. It's pretty, um, it has a lot of spices in it. I just walked home in the rain. I kept thinking it wasn't that bad. I don't know why, but it's like pouring outside. And I was like, maybe I should just keep walking. But then it just kept getting worse and worse. And I was like, okay, let me just walk back to the hotel. Um, I'm back in the hotel now and I'm just gonna relax and wait until the rain stops because I've been just like walking around, um, just like outdoors. I thought they had like um, indoor shopping malls around here, but the only ones I can really find are like outdoor. So I don't really know what to do indoor. Like I'm not an indoor girl, you know? Like I don't really know what to do inside. So I guess I'm just gonna wait out the rain. Um, it was just drizzling a little bit earlier, but now it's like raining, raining. And the weather app says it's gonna stop in about an hour. So I'm gonna like drink some coffee and then just like hang out. All right, we're back in the hotel. Here's a little hotel suite tour. Um, we come from the door and then we get a little wet bar area for some drinks and my wet hat. Turn around here, there's a little um, bathroom for some guests, which is just me. Oh, well, my boyfriend's coming later. Mini fridge, here's a living room mirror first patio is right here there was some some construction earlier and then they dropped a piece of plastic on there so it's kind of odd okay we're going into the bedroom now sick sick bedroom another second patio third patio it's kind of raining out this is the um bathroom in the other bathroom with a shower i think the rain finally just stopped so i'll probably continue my walk around la jolla the sun has set it is 5 20 i'm going on a beach walk to the pier dark so early wow So apparently you are not allowed to go on the pier. I was about to walk on it and then someone stopped me and they were like, it's only for um, people that have keys and it's for like the lab from UC San Diego. And I actually had no idea. So, okay, I'm leaving now. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm back in the hotel now getting cozy. I turn up the temperature because it's cold in San Diego. Um, before I got back to the hotel, I actually went to this little convenience store and I bought some drinks for my boyfriend. So I got him these. They're Cook Slams, West Coast style IPA. Um, I honestly bought them just because they look cute. And then my boyfriend also likes energy drinks. So one for tomorrow, we just have some water. Um, I bought myself some rosé. Um, honestly, I bought it because it was pretty. I'm now going to prepare it. So you guys want to know it's weird. Like, why, why did this hotel not come with like water or like drinks or snacks like in the fridge? But it comes with an ice machine over there. Like it just like, why would I need ice more than water? I don't know. So I got some ice and I'm gonna pour myself some rosé while I wait for my boyfriend. I'm, I'm watching some YouTube videos. I'm gonna do that for a few hours. He's showing up in, I think three hours and I need to choose what food I wanna get delivered here for us to have dinner together and hang out. I don't know if I'm gonna film because I just wanna spend the rest of my night with my boyfriend since it's been almost two weeks without him. So long distance relationship you know so i honestly might just forget to film vlog if if i do if i forget sorry anyways let's try to open this bottle so when i was in high school and drinking alcohol i used to think that you had to i used to think that like the only way to open up like bubbly was to pop it like you know how like 
when people pop it and like some alcohol like gets all over the place like i don't know why but i thought that was like the only way to drink it and there was no other way very questionable stuff but oh well does this thing even need to be on here why do people only take off half of it it's like confusing but now i know that you can actually you don't need to do that i also don't want to break anything this accidentally pops open so what i usually do to open it I feel like it's common sense for people that I drink, they probably know how to open it. But I like act actually get like really nervous to open this stuff. So I usually get something like this. So if it does pop, it pops inside the towel and it doesn't break a fucking light. I don't know why I get so scared. I think it's like the noise. I'm just trying to get the cage off. Okay, cage off with success. And then I put it on my knee. And then I just try to pop it. But I don't want to hit anything or break anything, so. Ooh, it's opening. So scary. <laughs> okay, got it open. Um, they don't have wine glasses in here, so cheers. I'll put that in later. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Um, if I don't see you again.